when you own a company, you have to like wear a lot of hats and you have to you know, be there and make sure that you're supportive with your team. I can cashier one day or I'm like stocking stuff, I'm merchandising. I always make sure that I know how to run everything in the company and that my top leadership team knows how to run everything in the company. I think one of the things that's really important is integrity. And integrity means that you're honest. Uh, it means that you own what you do. You stand by your mistakes as well. Say on that as well. Don't be afraid of doing that. That's leadership. The thing that I've seen just in working with people is you get defensive, and I still do it. it. It's a struggle. So if somebody comes to you and says, hey, I don't like the way you treated me in the break room, just because I'm the owner doesn't mean that I can just treat people a certain way. I think being a leader just in your classroom, with your friends, everywhere, if you look at yourself when people are saying things, um, even if you can find a tiny little bit of what they're saying is the truth, don't take it personally. When we acknowledge those mistakes, mistakes to our staff, um, I think we actually gain a lot more respect as well. When you have a team, communicate with that team. Um, if things are working for you, if they're not, encourage uh, feedback from your team. The thing I'd most recommend is surrounding yourself with people that are smarter than yourself. When I'm around somebody that knows a lot more or is a lot more experienced than I am, uh, they mentor me, I, I learn, I watch them and grow uh, faster than I would maybe just on my own. I mean, I'm really impressed uh, in the interview process when somebody comes and says, well, what do you need? And, and then expresses then afterwards, here's how I might be able to meet that need. Mm -hmm. The first thing I look for, one is if they're showing up and they're punctual to the interview. Um, also, I like to see if they've done research on our company. Ask questions. What do I do every day? What does a morning shift look like different than an evening shift? Just being curious goes a long ways to impress somebody to, to hire you. Another thing to do if you don't have a lot of experience is get letters of recommendation and staple them to your um, resume. So if you can get teachers or anybody to write a letter of recommendation saying that you're punctual to class and you're doing all these things. Community involvement. Somebody that's out there willing to better the community and is looking for other things outside of the job also. Job shadowing, babysitting, if you've done that in the past. Um, my company, because we operate machinery, um, most of the machinery in our factory, no one will have any experience on that. We know that. So training is going to be involved um, for us. So what I look for is, have you ever operated any type of machinery? It could be a, a lawnmower. It could be a grandma's sewing machine. Another thing that I look at when somebody comes in to apply, though, is how you're treating my front desk person. And I have my front desk person, I've instructed them to tell me if somebody is rude to them when they're turning in their application, I won't consider them. When you guys do pick a company to work for, make sure it's a company that you can actually grow and learn. If you're just there and you're just working, you know, just and there's no like growth, it doesn't feel good. So it doesn't matter if you're working at McDonald's or you're working for Coca Tat or whoever you're working for, make sure that that culture fits what you are. And if you don't like it, don't complain, just leave. There's no need to sit around and, and you know, complain to coworkers. If you go like straight to the, the manager or whoever and you're feeling like it, there's no progress, then that probably isn't the fit for you. And then I feel privileged be between these two, uh, both successful locals, kind of show how to do it. Um, and one of the ways you do it is respecting the ecosystem. You know, it's not competition like I want to shut you down because I'm in competition with you. It's what can I do differently? We're going to be ourselves. We're going to do something that's really unique and different. And if somebody walks in, they go, wow, this is a different experience for a hardware store. Um, it's very, being very creative in management. Um, that helps you also collaborate with other businesses, in this case, um, to solve community problems. I think if you guys figure out who you are as a group and you get that on paper and study the Ritz-Carlton because that'll really help you. It's important to have that mission statement um, and to really look at where you want to be as a company or as a group. And it's important to stick with that. You know, one thing that's really important to us is that our employees feel welcome that they enjoy what they do. 